I started thinking about scissor lifts and how the trigonometry behind these works for these devices. In this problem, we have a scissor lift that has a crossbar of 2.48 units long. It has an initial height of 0.74 units. We want to find out how much we must reduce the scissor lift span at the base to reach a height of 2.1 units. So, how do we go about solving this one? Hint, here's the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so the way I solve this one is by making two right triangles and placing them in the scissor lift so that the two heights combined make up the total height of the scissor lift. The number of triangles will be dictated based off of how many linkages you have on the scissor lift. We notice that for each of these triangles, the height is half of the height of the scissor lift, which is 0.37 and 1.05. We can then use another variant of the Pythagorean theorem, which is just rearranged to be the square root of c squared minus b squared equals the a side length, or the span distance at the base. Plugging in our numbers, we get 2.45 units for the initial span and 2.24 units for the final span. Subtracting one of these from the other, we get that we need to reduce the span by 0.21 units to reach the desired height of 2.1 units. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. It really helps out the channel if you do. If you like this video, you may like one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.